Hello, welcome back. I'm Aidan Swan, and this is not Ink for Artists. Today, we are going to be talking about artists and meta. Um, in particular, we'll be discussing Instagram and Facebook. However, WhatsApp and threads do also come into it. So if you have been in an online artists forum any time in the last while, you have undoubtedly seen a lot of discussions surrounding the meta algorithm. What's been happening is our accounts have been stifled and this has been a steady progress over about two years that we put out an inordinate amount of content as demanded by these platforms in order to try and show our work and it just gets hidden and this is supposedly to try and force us to buy boosts and many of us used to buy boosts um, me included However, the thing is that we're putting our time and if we put our money into it too, and then nothing gets seen. I mean, when I was buying boosts, I started off with about 300 likes on my average, um, average post. Within six months, I was down to two likes and it had nothing to do with the quality of the content. It had everything to do with how many people Meta was showing it to. So the problem is that Meta wants us to buy advertising. However, it is not willing to play its part in that bargain, which is showing our work to people. And the issue is that our work's not getting seen. It's not getting out there. We're not getting sales. Therefore, we cannot buy advertising. And we then just eventually kind of give up because what can we do? We're just fighting against this enormous tide. This is not only an issue with the algorithm. This is also an issue with censorship and with AI. So you may remember about two years ago, I made a video with regards to Meta's then new T's and C's that banned the use of any tag words revolving around alternative spirituality, i.e. paganism, witchcraft, animism, etc., etc., that was predominantly in for use in advertising. However, these words, if you use them in hashtags, your account would be shadow banned. My account has been absolutely stifled since then. I have been steady at just over 1,700 followers on my Instagram. Um, I think I'm at 2,600 on Facebook. And I have not gotten any new followers that I've not sent directly there. My account is just, it's completely hidden. I'm down to a fraction of the interaction that I used to have. Now, Meta has just released yet another new set of T's and C's that states that every single thing that is put on their platform will be scraped for AI. They gave an apparent opt out, which was a very long and convoluted and complicated process and only was available to people in certain countries. This is primarily Europe, where there are laws against um, AI scraping and good privacy laws and protection for artists. And now Brazil has also brought in laws against it that force um, Facebook to allow Brazilian people to opt out. For the rest of us, however, if we put our art on Facebook, it will be stolen. And for an artist, this is a very big deal. In its current form, generative AI is nothing but plagiarism software. It survives by stealing from artists and it has apparently predominantly run out of things to steal because the internet is something like 80% generative AI. So the makers of AI software are desperately trying to find new work to scrape. So social media it is. And you can argue that, yes, if you have been on social media or on the internet and shown your work online 
for any time in the past two years, there is a very good chance that it's already been scraped. And I understand that. However, I can protect myself going forth. And I do believe that you need to protect yourself going forth too. Um, now, if you are advertising your art on Meta, I urge you to download Glaze. Glaze is a software created by the University of Chicago to protect artists. What it does is it applies a film or a glaze, if you will, that is indistinguishable to the human eye to your work. And what this film does is it confuses and poisons what the AI sees. So glaze is a great way of protecting your work. Um, and it's free. And if you do not have access to a computer, there is an online version that you can use. Even with Glaze, I don't feel safe on meta platforms anymore. And this goes hand in hand with the overall downward trend of how meta has been treating small creatives. So you may ask, why am I still on meta if I have all of these issues? And the answer is, Partially that I've been on Facebook since 2007 and I've been on Instagram for about a decade. And I used to love these platforms and I built up two companies on these platforms. Um, I've tried numerous other platforms over the years and have not ever had any kind of success with them. So it comes down to better the devil. However, for me, this is now actually a breaking point. I just can't anymore. It's I don't feel safe there. I don't feel that my work is going anywhere. So I'm now at the end of my tether and I'm looking for other options. And one of those options is Kara. Now, Kara, you may have heard of, is a social media and portfolio platform created by artists for artists. And just the breadth of skill there, it's like scrolling through artists on Kara is a happy place for me right now. It's just wonderful. Um, and Kara is fervently anti-AI, which I just like so many thumbs up guys it's incredible so i will be on kara and i will be spending more and more time on kara now this brings in the next issue so i logged into my instagram a few days ago and immediately got this little notice stating that unless i remove my link tree i will not be allowed to access instagram and what was on my link tree? I had added my Kara link that morning. So it didn't give me a choice. It removed the link regardless. I did a bit of experimenting and I removed the Kara link, tried, it to, re tried to re add my link tree and had, didn't have a problem. I then also tried to add each of the links in my link tree one by one and it had no problem with any of my links until I got to Kara. So Meta is quite obviously having a bit of a hissy about the fact that they have lost apparently a million users to Kara because artists have been jumping ship since this, um, this app was released. And it seems that they will now not allow any real mention of it. And by the by, this is also relevant to Messenger. I can't even send my link tree with my Kara app in Messenger. It's like, how crazy is that? It's just like, they are doing everything in their power to make us leave. And then they have a hissy fit when we do leave. <laughs> and it's just, fix your shit. If you want us to stay, make your platform a place that we want to be. It's just 
absolutely unbelievable. So now that that rants over, <laughs> I will be spending a lot more time on Kara. I will also be spending a lot more time here on YouTube um, and on Patreon, who has launched a free tier. Um, I have not used that tier up till now, but I will be. Um, Patreon I also see as a safe space. Um, I will also be launching a Twitch channel. I know quite a few artists who swear by Twitch, who love live streaming. I've been really keen to try it. So I will be there and you can find me there. Um, and I'm keen to know where else you are. Herein lies the crux. We've got Kara. What else do we have? Um, we obviously can't expect great sales from Kara right now because it is an artist's only platform, which means that there are not many outside collectors there as yet. Um, I'm also looking at Saatchi Art. I've heard great things about them. What else do you recommend? What have you tried? What works for you? I'm super keen to find out what's out there. Um, all of my sales pretty much have come from Meta Platform since 2007. So I've been a little bit under a rock with regards to other, other platforms and other means of sales. Um, I have done Etsy in the past. I have done TikTok. Neither of those worked for me. Um, but I am so interested in what else is out there. Let's start a great conversation in the comments. Let's help all of us small creatives to find, to find new places that best work for us. I am seeing this as a positive, as in I've been complaining for years and yes, my hand's been forced, but sometimes we don't make changes unless our hand is forced. And I'm really excited for a new chapter, for trying new things. And I'm so keen to hear what you guys say. So let me know. Um, yeah, I hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful weekend and I look forward to hearing from you.